Tripping Through Time, Untold Psychedelic Stories. The trippy math genius, Ralph Abrahams. Have you ever wondered about the intersection between psychedelic experiences and mathematical theories? Enter the intriguing world of Ralph Abraham, a mathematician who dared to explore uncharted realms. Abrahams is a renowned mathematician and pioneer in the field of chaos theory and dynamical systems. His groundbreaking theories have shaped the fields in profound ways, and his name is synonymous with innovation and brilliance. But there's more to this math wizard than meets the eye. Abraham's story takes a twist into the unconventional, as he not only delved into complex equations, but also into the mind-bending effects of DMT, LSD, and psychedelics. His unique interest and outspoken stance has stirred controversy and sparked debates, marking him a curiosity and an enigma in his field. Abrahams is celebrated not only for his groundbreaking contributions to mathematics, but also for his unconventional exploration of altered states of consciousness through the use of psychedelics, particularly DMT and LSD. Today, we'll explore the intriguing connection between Abraham's experimentation with psychedelics and his mathematical theories, shedding light on how these altered states of mind may have influenced his innovative work. Born in 1936, Ralph Abraham showed an early affinity for numbers. Growing up in Burlington, Vermont, the world of mathematics was his playground, a realm where he could frolic among equations and theorems, his mind a whirring calculator that solved problems as easily as most children played games. By the time he was a teenager, he had already surpassed the mathematical abilities of his peers. His thirst for knowledge led him to the prestigious University of Chicago, where he earned his bachelor's degree in mathematics. But his journey didn't stop there. His passion propelled him towards Princeton University, a world-renowned institution that would serve as the crucible for his burgeoning mathematical prowess. At Princeton, he dove headfirst into the mysteries of dynamical systems, a branch of mathematics that deals with systems whose state evolves over time. He was fascinated by the intricate dance of variables and parameters, the complex interplay of elements that created patterns of beauty and chaos in equal measure. His work at Princeton was trailblazing. He developed theories that pushed the boundaries of our understanding, his mind a beacon illuminating the shadowy corners of mathematical thought. His contributions to the field were significant, earning him recognition as a pioneer in the study of dynamical systems. Yet, even as he reveled in the world of numbers and equations, something else was brewing. Abraham was not just a mathematician. He was a man of curiosity, of exploration, of daring. And as he delved deeper into the realm of mathematics, another world was beginning to beckon him. A world that was just as complex, just as beautiful, and just as chaotic as the mathematical universe he had come to master. But Abraham's mathematical journey was about to take an unexpected turn. In the 1960s, Abraham's life took a psychedelic turn. This era, known for its counterculture and exploration of consciousness, introduced Ralph Abraham to a world beyond the rigid confines of conventional mathematics. It was during this time that he first encountered lysergic acid diethylamide, or LSD, a substance that would forever alter his approach to numbers and patterns. The psychedelic experience, Abraham believed, was not just a hallucinatory journey. Instead, it was a cognitive shift that allowed him to perceive mathematical concepts in a new light. His mind, under the influence of LSD, became a playground for abstract mathematical ideas, where numbers danced and equations flowed like rivers. Abraham's psychedelic experiences were not mere recreational adventures. He was a pioneer who dared to venture into the unexplored realms of consciousness to seek mathematical inspiration. He saw a connection, a bridge if you will, between these altered states of consciousness and mathematical insight. He believed that LSD could unlock the door to a deeper understanding of the mathematical world. This belief, however, was not without controversy. The 1960s were a time of societal upheaval, and LSD was at the center of many debates. The notion of a respected mathematician using a substance associated with counterculture and rebellion was met with both intrigue and skepticism. Yet Abraham was undeterred. He continued his unique pursuit, steadfast in his belief that his psychedelic experiences were not distractions but pathways to mathematical revelations. His work, infused with his psychedelic insights, began to reflect a unique blend of creativity and rigor, a testament to his unconventional approach. 
Abraham's LSD use was controversial, but it played a crucial role in his mathematical theories. His journey, marked by a psychedelic shift, was a testament to the power of perspective in shaping our understanding of the world. And in the realm of numbers and equations, Abraham found a unique harmony between the psychedelic and the mathematical. His story serves as a reminder that sometimes it takes a shift in perspective to truly see the beauty of mathematics. Abraham's LSD use wasn't just recreational, it was an integral part of his mathematical process. Indeed, the mind-altering substance played a significant role in shaping his unique approach to mathematics. Take for instance Abraham's dynamical systems theory, a field that focuses on the study of systems that change over time. He often credited his breakthroughs in this complex area to his psychedelic experiences. By altering his perception, he was able to visualize mathematical structures in a new light, leading to innovative insights and solutions. Interestingly, Abraham's theory of morphic resonance also bore the psychedelic imprint. This theory suggests that memory is inherent in nature, with natural systems inheriting a collective memory from all previous things of their kind. LSD allowed Abraham to conceptualize this abstract theory by experiencing a sense of connectivity and oneness with the universe. Now, it's important to mention that Abraham's methods were not without controversy. Many in the academic community were skeptical, raising questions about the scientific validity of insights derived from psychedelic experiences. Critics argued that these experiences were subjective and could not be reliably used to understand objective mathematical truths. Yet, despite the skepticism, Abraham's work has had a profound influence on the field of mathematics. His theories have opened up new avenues of research and introduced fresh perspectives on understanding complex mathematical structures. The implications of Abraham's methods are far-reaching. If we accept the idea that altered states of consciousness can lead to mathematical insights, it could revolutionize how we approach problem-solving in this field. Imagine a future where mathematicians routinely use mind-altering substances to unlock new mathematical truths. Whether you agree with his methods or not, there's no denying that Ralph Abraham's journey was anything but ordinary. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, Ralph Abraham, like many of his contemporaries, was exposed to the counterculture movement, which included the widespread use of psychedelics, particularly LSD. Abraham's personal experiences with psychedelics played a role in shaping his thinking and problem-solving approaches. He has openly discussed how psychedelics, including LSD, influenced his work. In his own words, taking LSD was a profound experience, one of the most important things in my life. Abraham has described how these experiences allowed him to see patterns and connections in a new light, potentially inspiring the unconventional thinking that led to his mathematical breakthroughs. He described in a GC interview how psychedelic insights helped influence his mathematical theories. Abraham has also dabbled with DMT and said DMT is proof that the mind doesn't live in the brain. In an interview, he stated that psychedelics convinced him to believe that ideas and memories don't exist in the brain, and that the psychedelic experience is a rocket ship where you could go beyond the realm explained by neurochemistry. He believed that LSD, DMT, and other psychedelics were a way to transcend ordinary reality and obtain an intonation of what's necessary for survival as well as a way to supercharge or fast-track your learning to achieve in a miraculously brief period what could otherwise be achieved over a lifetime through traditional spiritual means and practices. He actually believes that DMT is at the core of human evolution and survival, and has reported in interviews that he believes that humans maybe wouldn't have survival without DMT, as the ideas and values it inspired were so fundamental to the human experience and human evolution. Of all psychedelics, he believes that DMT, the psychedelic compound found in the sacred plant medicine ayahuasca, is perhaps the most profoundly important and mystifying substance of all. DMT is also found in our pineal gland, in the brain of every human mind, only adding to its mystery. Abraham said, DMT is more of a breakthrough than LSD, mushrooms, peyote, and is more of an experience, is more constructive, more supportive of the evolution and creation of the future, and more of a mystery. He marveled at how DMT could produce something that has such intelligence and believes DMT is a doorway to another reality. He said that the experience of DMT had no words, so he tried to frame the experience with mathematical equations to describe the experience to himself. He traveled to India where he received teachings on LSD, religion and spirituality, and returned to his position as a professor with a new conviction and passion. 
He was inspired by his DMT trips and LSD trips to study vibrations and vibrations in fluids. More specifically, how they created form to describe the relationship to the spiritual realm and ordinary realm. Abraham said that his research was building on the window opened by DMT, then pursued by LSD. He said he was also heavily influenced by Sanskrit literature. His experiences in India and beyond the ordinary realm helped Abrahams form his own language of vibration, which allowed him to describe his psychedelic experiences without using words. He said LSD opened the window to a whole other universe. He described it as opening a door to an authentic reality, as real as ordinary reality but alternate, and said it changed everything. Neurophysiology, medical science and the connection between body and mind. He also said that the way DMT and LSD delivered information or teachings was very different, and believed he benefited greatly from these different teachings. Fascinated by his own experience, Abrahams considered the possibility of recreating the experience. He theorized that it was possible using extensive mathematical equations and modern technology and graphics to recreate and simulate the experience of a trip, using his vibrational mathematics. He is now a proud outspoken spokesperson who speaks out candidly about his use of psychedelics and how they have benefited him and influenced his spirituality and mathematical revelations. LSD is known for its ability to induce altered states of consciousness. It can disrupt conventional thought patterns and open the mind to novel ideas and perspectives. While the exact mechanisms by which psychedelics impact the brain are still under study, some researchers propose that they increase neural connectivity and encourage creative thinking. Abraham's experiences with psychedelics reportedly provided him with fresh insights into the intricate, non-linear dynamics of chaotic systems. He described his psychedelic experiences as voyages into the mathematical cosmos, where he could perceive and interact with mathematical entities in a way that defied conventional understanding. He claims these experiences may have helped him envision mathematical concepts that had eluded him in more conventional states of mind. Ralph Abraham's mathematical journey led him to the uncharted territories of chaos theory and dynamical systems, areas that were still in their infancy during the 1960s and 70s. He made significant contributions to understanding complex systems behavior, with applications in various fields, including physics, biology, and ecology. Chaos theory in particular examines systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions, where small changes can lead to drastically different outcomes. Abraham's work in chaos theory and dynamical systems led to the development of topological and geometrical methods for analyzing complex behaviors. This innovative approach has paved the way for breakthroughs in the understanding of turbulence, fractals, and bifurcation theory. Ralph Abraham's unconventional approach to mathematics and the influence of psychedelics can be observed in his work, particularly his use of visualization and geometric intuition. He emphasized the importance of visualizing mathematical concepts and their representations. His contributions have not only enriched the field of mathematics, but also have practical applications in various domains, including physics, engineering, and biology. The story of Ralph Abraham's exploration of altered states of consciousness through the use of psychedelics and its potential influence on his groundbreaking mathematical theories is a fascinating testament to the relationship between creative thinking and unconventional experiences. While the full extent of the impact of psychedelics on his work may never be precisely quantified, it serves as a compelling case of a brilliant mathematician who dared to think outside the box and expand his horizons with psychedelic substances. Ralph Abraham's journey highlights the complex interplay between personal experiences, unconventional thinking, and scientific innovation, offering a unique perspective on the evolution of mathematical thought. Like and subscribe for more psychedelic history stories and biographies.